Hey, what's going on everybody? So in today's video, I'm going to show you a few ways in which we can format currency in JavaScript. It involves this pretty sweet method, the to locale string method. Basically what this method does is that it returns a string with a language sensitive representation of a number. Depending on which country you're in, you format numbers a different way. For example, I'm in the United States. We separate every thousands place with a comma, then follow any decimal numbers on the right hand side. However, if you were in, let's say, Germany, you would format it this way. Personally, I have no idea how to read this number. Sorry, Germany. Representing numbers to a foreign audience is fairly important, because honestly, if I saw this number, it would confuse me. Now, in today's video, we're going to be covering the two locale string method. Another way to format currency is with international number format, but that's a little advanced for us. Once you're at the intermediate or advanced level, I would definitely take a look at international number format but that will be outside the scope of today's lesson. The two locale string method is a simple and beginner friendly way to format currency and other numbers. So you have a number. Numbers have a built in two locale string method. The first argument is a string representation of a location, a locale. It specifies the language to use. If you set this to be undefined, you'll use the default set in the viewer's browser. That's a good option. For the second argument, you can send an object, an object of formatting options. I'll give you an example. Let's say we have a number. Let number equal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0.789. To format this number, I will take our number, reassign it equal to number, use the built in to locale string method. We have two arguments a string location and an object. Let's start with the string location. For a United States locale, that would be EN for English dash US capital. Then we should display our number. Console.log number. Yep, and there is United States formatting. Let's pass in a string locale for India. Again, following the same format, we will change the location to be hi for hindi dash in based on that geographic location there's different number formatting let's cover germany de dash capital de to use the viewer's default set for the browser you're going to pass in undefined so i will pass in undefined for me personally, that will give me the United States formatting. Now you can pass in options. We could take this number with this formatting and give it a unit of currency. So again, we're going to reassign our number. Number equals number. Use the built-in to locale string method. My location will be the United States. Feel free to pick a different one if you would like. The second argument is going to be an object. We need a set of curly braces to represent an object. Objects can have properties, properties that hold values. If you need currency, you will set the style property. You'll set the style property to have a string value of currency. The next property would be currency colon. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. For United States dollars, that would be USD. And let's see what we have. There we go. We have American dollars with United States number formatting. Let's do this with Indian rupees. So again, number equals number to locale string. The locale will be hi dash in comma for the next argument. We're passing in an object. I'm going to zoom in again. The style property will be currency. We'll add another property. This property will be currency, colon space. For rupees, that would be INR. And here is our new number with different currency formatting. Okay, then I think Germany uses euros. Number equals number to locale string. What's the location? Germany, that would be DE dash DE capital, comma space. 
the next argument is an object, the style property will be currency. The next property will be currency. And the currency is going to be EUR for euros. And that has appeared to work. All right, everybody. So that is a beginner-friendly way in which you can format currency in JavaScript.